Lena, do you copy? Crane, damn it. You're breaking up. Yeah, listen, your one-eyed delirious patient, he was telling the truth. There is a way out. Maybe what he said about people who don't turn is true. He died this morning, Kyle. The fever got him. You're on your own, I'm afraid. Lena? Lena! Yeah, it's fucking mountains. This looks occupied, more or less. What do you want? I need to talk to someone in charge. I'm from Haran. Oh, you a smuggler? You work for that crook, huh? Look, I, I don't know anything about any smuggling, pal. I'm here, just, I need some help. As for Jasir, but understand this, if you steal anything, you lose your hands. I've got my eye on you, stranger. Hi, uh, excuse me. I don't know anything. Look, could you just tell me where to find someone who does know something? Look for Jazir. He'll be inside the barn. Need something? Are you the one in charge? I need some help. Talk to Jasir. You will not see him again. Do you hear me? I forbid it. Father, please. Can't we talk no, about this? No, no. End of discussion. Fine. Fine. Eski. Wait. Eski. I don't mean to interrupt. I'm looking for Jazir. I am Jazir. But if you want food, we have only bread. No, no, I, I don't need food. Listen, I'm from Haran, and I've come because I've heard that there are people here who are immune to the virus, that they don't turn, even if they get bitten. Oh. 
And who told you this? Uh, a dead man, I'm sorry to say. You might as well keep listening to him. I'll tell you no more than he. Fucking hell, why won't anybody help me? The virus is all over the city, people are dying. And yet, you still live. Take some bread, my friend, and go back to Haran. No one wants you here. Lena, this is Crane. Do you copy? Damn, I want a fucking wasteland. Hey, yeah, you. Come here. Come on, come closer. I won't bite you. Don't worry. I ain't like the rest of these loonies. Yeah, I'm talking about you, you nut jobs. So you're not one of them? Why aren't they trying to run you off? Because I sell more shit than just bread. My name's Khan, by the way. Kyle Crane. Hey, you're from Haran, right? Bet you ran into my optically challenged buddy. You mean the guy with an eye missing? Yeah, that's the one. My boy, Kurt. How's he doing? Oh, uh, he, uh... Yeah, he, he didn't make it. Well, that's a damn shame. But, can't say I'm surprised. Maybe you can help me. Kurt said the people out here are immune to the virus. You know anything about that? Uh, now that you mention it, I don't remember any of the locals actually turning. Fucking wackos. They're in a damn cult. Led by some woman they called the mother. Used to be just a harmless local tradition, you know? They weren't serious about it. Well, they're goddamn serious these days. Ever since the outbreak. They scribble symbols everywhere. Do these fucking rituals. I think they even pray to her. Yeah, but what about this whole not turning thing? They on Antizen or what? Listen, I'm short a man now. And since I'm an entrepreneur, let's do business. Partner up, you and me. Buying anything, friend? Freaks. Kind of partnership you have in mind? Well, you need some information, and thanks to Kurt getting himself deceased, I need a driver with brains. I can show you something that might help you out, but we'll need to get some wheels first. You want a vehicle out here? Where am I supposed to find that? I'd look around the nearest farm, I were you. And hey, be discreet about it, all right? Got to tell me this? Well, they weren't important at the moment. Fucking fleas, you just can't get rid of them. No structure, no balls, no knack for business. <laughs> Sounds like we're off to a good start. Ah, don't be a drama queen. You can handle them. Listen, I gotta deal with some customers. Just give me a sign once you got the car.
You're looking for Khan? He's gone. I guess they finally asked him to leave. Asked him to leave, huh? And what, at gunpoint? And who's they? They finally did what my father should have done a long time ago. And it suddenly got really nice and quiet around here, didn't it? You didn't answer my question. Of course I didn't. You're here for the same reason he was. Same reason the bandits won't leave us alone. And we're supposed to trust you? There's gotta be something I can do to convince you. You don't have to convince me. I don't care. Show everyone else you're here to give, not just to take. And I'm Eski, by the way. Kyle Crane, Eski. Can you give me some hints at least? W w what do you guys need? I suppose I could help you out. Just remember, you'll have to return the favor one day. You got it. The groundwaters got polluted a while back. Imagine what would happen if you got our water running again. I assume there is a way to do this? Yes, there is, but it's in banded territory. Several men who volunteered to go there, well, they never came back. So I wouldn't recommend it, unless you have a death wish. If you do, then just follow the pipeline. Customer is a blessing. You're actually selling something out here? Water. Crystal clear. No diarrhea afterburns. Tastes as if an angel stepped on your tongue, huh? One gallon for ten pounds of food. We accept gold as well. Ten pounds of food for water? Then you can start charging for air, too? Oh, we got us a haggler. Look down there, punk. See that? That's Roscoe. We turn hagglers over to him. Still want to haggle, huh? Tell you what, though. I might let you trade your ride for some water. Oh, fuck you, asshole. So be it. All right, boys. <laughs> fuck him.
This is it for you! Jazir sent me. Or well, Eski did. You're one of the three who got lost? The only one left. I am Ali. They got thrown to that... that beast. Okay, listen, Ali, this place has to be at least sort of operational. Otherwise, the bandits wouldn't have had any water. The bandits have water here, but there is none at the farm. Perhaps we can redirect it. Here goes nothing. Cross your fingers. If we did that right, in a couple of minutes there'll be water at the farm again. It's not working. Why is it not working? Oh, shit. Shit. They must have closed it. This equipment's fucking ancient. Pipes burst. We are all well and truly fucked. I'll get the valve open. Where is it? It's the shit out of me. All I know is it ain't here. Follow the pipeline. For fuck's sake, hurry! Go! I'll keep trying on this end. Go! And hurry! Ali, I got it. But the place was already flooded, so now what? We just we just wait? Yes. Now it should just be a matter of time. So we're good? We're better than good. I think you just saved all our asses. Get back to the farm. I'll tell Jasir you're all right. You know, for a stranger. Thank you, Kaya. 
I guess one man with a death wish can be a great help to those who just want to live in peace. I don't have a death wish. I just can't stand bullies. Well, in any case, you really did something spectacular for the people here. Try talking with my father now. I bet his tune will change. Thanks, Eski. No, thank you. Miracle. It's a damn miracle. You don't even yeah. know what you just did for us. Our wells have been polluted for the last month, and people were getting sicker and sicker. Maybe I was wrong about you, stranger. So, any chance you'll answer my question now? About that medicine? Follow me, please. Vizier and Haran, we're running out of Antizen. I'm looking for anything that could save my friends. If you have anything... Yes, stranger, we do. We have our faith and our prayers to the mother. Faith? Uh, okay, I, I mean no disrespect, but you, you're telling me that prayers keep you from turning? That's your problem. You lack faith, just like the other outsiders. We believe in the mother, and she protects us. We have no need of... Antonsen, or whatever you said. Okay, okay, well, is there any way I could maybe speak with this mother? She is sacred. She speaks only with those known as the Faceless. But maybe, maybe you could get them to notice you. If you do enough good for our community. At this point, I'll take anything. So what kind of good are you looking for? What, what needs to be done around here? You're serious about this? <laughs> All right, then. Me, I take care of this farm, and my friend Bilal keeps the gas station near town safe. Look around. You'll find more work than any one man could handle. Can you hear me? Lena? Plane, are you okay? What's going on? You've got us all worried. I'm fine, don't worry, but listen, your patient was right. There's this there's this group here, and all of its members seem to be immune to the virus. Immune? How is that possible? I don't know. They're protected by some local shaman type called the Mother. Only communicates through her priests. I try to get in touch with them, but these people don't trust outsiders for shit. 
Excuse me, you, uh, you the oh, owner no. here? No, oh, no, no, no. Hey, hey, Nori, it's all right, buddy. Here you go. I'm Bilal. Uh, that's Nori, my brother. Kyle Crane. Pleasure to, uh, oh, <laughs> sorry. So, what can I do for you, Kyle? Well, I, I heard the locals might need a hand with a few things. Oh, yeah, Jazir told me you'd come. I heard all about you. Listen, I, I, I'm just trying to help the people back in the city. Hey, helping the infected, you don't have to explain that to me. I get it. My bro got bitten about two months ago. Wait, two months? And he, and he hasn't turned? I couldn't believe it either, but hey, there he is. Still in working order, unlike this wreck. Just take a look at the board over there. Jasir ain't lying. We could use plenty of help. And man, I'm envious of your ride. It's the only working vehicle I've seen for a while. Tell you what, if you bring it back here and let me look inside from time to time, I'll give it some tuning up, make it even sweeter. If you want to be helpful in the long run, take good care of it. I'm not exactly a mechanic. Then it's a good thing you're talking to me. Here's what you do. It'll be a long drive, but I bet my left hand it'll be worth it. There's a Silas truck stranded on a highway. Go give it a once over, and if you find any useful parts, bring them to me. be offline. We're working on the problem. You want to help us out with it? So what do I have to do? First off, get this fuse to Ali at the plant. He can't do shit without it. Once you get the fuse to him, we'll get the power back. If he can keep from electrocuting himself, I mean. Guy thinks safety precautions are for pussies. I did see a guy trying to dig a broken light bulb out of the socket with a steel screwdriver while the power was on. <laughs> yep, sounds like Ali. He means well anyway. So, listen friend, two things need to happen. One, like I said, get him this fuse. Two, we need a working insulator, or the fuse blows as soon as he flips the switch. He says the old ones will hold, but fuck me if I believe him.
Shit, sorry. I think there was anybody in here. I'll bet you didn't. Leaving little some bitch. Hey, well, relax. It's not like that. I was just looking for some parts to fix up my ride. I wasn't gonna steal anything. If it's parts you want, it's parts you can damn well buy. Jacob Graves is the name. Kyle Crane. Good to meet you, Kyle Crane. Now listen here. These parts is mine. You want some? I'll sell you some. But ain't nothing for free. All right, understood.
I can't even express how grateful I am, how grateful we are. We um, we don't really have anything to give you, but at least treat this home as your own from now on. This house is your house too now. Well, a safe place to rest can be a real lifesaver. Thanks.
Isn't Kyle Crane? Great to see you. And this? This is the mother's blessing. He's one of the faceless. Uh, great, I need to ask him something. Don't you dare disturb him. His prayers are what's protecting us, don't you understand? Okay, okay, I won't bother him, but. But you have something for you. Bilal sends his best. That bastard. So that's it? You're gonna get the power running? Need anything else? Actually, yes. Since you offered, when this ancient piece of shit broke down, the main transfer switch must have thrown. It'll need resetting. Where is it? Inside the dam. And I'm pretty much done here, so... Well, the faster you get to it, the better. Mother is good. Mother is life. Mother will help us. Mother is good. Mother is life. <laughs> simple. <laughs> Ali, I'm inside. Throw in the switch now.
Okay, I think you're safe now. Jesus, what happened? I don't know. He just said, we gotta go now, and let me hear. Told me to get inside and lock the door. He's dead now. May the mother bless his soul. Let's go, Ali. You said you needed to finish something out there, right? Yeah, I was almost done. Just need to flip some switches. Well, I'll stand guard while you're doing it. You ready? Yeah. Let's go. The sooner we're done with this, the better. Just a little more time. Power's back on for good? It's back on for now, but with this old rusty broken ass equipment, I make you no promises. All right, fair enough. I'll be heading out then. You coming? Nah. This place is safe now, right? I'll just hang out here. Observe for a while. Make sure it doesn't all break down the moment my back is turned. What's going on? Help me! Yes, sir! I fell out of a hole and my brothers ran away! Where are your parents? They're dead. I'm scared, mister. There's something in here with me. Where are you? I'm in a warehouse. Near the dam. Will you help me? Help me! Please! Please! Alright, hang on, kid. I'm on my way. Easy, 
Got you there? What were you and your brothers even doing in here? We were looking for treasure. We came through a hole in the roof. Then tell me exactly where you are. Kid, hey! Hey! Damn it. Keep it down. I mean, I appreciate the cheering section, but keep that up and I'll be drowning in biters down here. Big guy! 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 Hey, I'm serious! Shut up, guys! Out of here. He killed him? Oh no! No! He killed the big guy? What? what? I've had about enough of your little game, fellas! He found the keys! Go! Go! Crane, I got one of your missing people here. Deceased. Shit. Dropping like flies. All right. Thank you. They fed to the big guy already.
So, you're one of the faceless. Will you let me speak to the mother? You think she would speak with a stranger? No, but you are on the right path if you wish to join our ranks. Be patient. What's your name? Kyle Crane. You have a long road ahead of you, Kyle Crane. Do not stray from it. And may this help you in your struggle. That's all we have to say to you for now. You can leave now, newcomer. Jazeera, I gotta ask. Why the hell do you want bolter livers? Those damn filthy bolters. They keep desecrating the graves of our beloved. They eat the corpses we've laid out for the wind to take. Okay, but the livers... For heaven's sake, don't they teach you anything in the city? It's about the smell. You can use it to attract more of the same kind. It's the thremo, thesmo. Pheromones. Yes, that's what I said. Or could you use it to scare them off? And that's what I wanted to say. You learn fast, boy. Okay, so these bolters are attracted to fresh bodies you, what, leave for the wind? Yes. If you see a bolter, just run it over with your car, okay? That'd be much appreciated. And remember about the livers.
And Jazeer. Those bandits who took over Erkan's farm. Aren't you afraid they're gonna target you guys next? Here we can handle them, but we're no soldiers. I won't send people to die out there. Well, your set of skills might come in handy in this situation. Just talk to Eski. She'll explain the kind of scum you'll be dealing with. And maybe try to find Polat too. He used to work at Erkam's farm. Maybe he'll have something useful to tell you. Huh. Hey, Jazir, who drew this? Oh, that's not important. The kid keeps drawing them. I keep throwing them away. Well, but what's it about? Something the kids hung up on. His mother took a job in Haran before the outbreak. Left him with his grandparents. She was supposed to send him a gift, I guess. But you know what happened. Doesn't matter. Just toss it. So this whole time, the kid's been waiting on a present? Christ. Sad, I know. But the sooner he gets used to being sad, the Hey kid, I gotta drop by the post office so I could uh, check and see if your package is there. You know what's inside? A present? From mommy? She wrote and said she was sending me a surprise present. She's coming back after I get it too. And she can play with me again. Hello. What I have for sale you can't find on a farm. Eski, I've... Oh. That's, uh... That's Erkan's daughter, right? No. That's not her. That's what's left of her. She was the happiest person I'd ever known, but now... I'm sorry, but... She's, uh... Conscious, right? Conscious, yes. But the longer she lies there, the more I feel like she just doesn't want to live anymore. When she was still speaking, she told me they hurt her. And her mother. They shot her brother in the face, Kyle. Made her watch. All right, I'll take care of it. They won't hurt anyone else. Yeah, of course. Sorry. I just think I've heard it too many times before. Oof. <laughs> 
I'll be packing my stuff soon and moving somewhere else. If anybody wants to trade, hurry. Khan. Just kill me. Why? How could they? Air Khan, is that you? Coward. Kill me. Hey, Air Khan. What could I do? Hey, you're safe, man. Get a grip. Your daughter's alive. Shoot me, please. I want to join them. Aircon, your daughter is alive. She's at Jazir's farm. She needs you. Coward. For fuck's sake. Jazir, are you there? Look, I don't know how this happened, but Aircon is alive. He's a wreck, though. Her cat's alive? And you really did get rid of those bandits? Listen, he doesn't know me, and I, I can't get through to him. He's in deep shock. Look, the farm's clear, so, I don't know, maybe you could ask your guys to bring him back? Of course, of course. We'll take care of it. Thank you.
Uh, just as I promised. The bandits are no threat now. Thank you. You did more for her than anyone else in this godforsaken place. Look, Eski, I... I've seen a lot. The only thing I can tell you is eventually it... it will start to hurt a little less. Don't patronize me, Kyle. You think she's the only friend I've lost since the outbreak? It's terrible. I'm getting so numb it almost doesn't hurt anymore. At least this one will get her father back. Erkan's alive. They'll bring him here. Oh? He survived? Well, I guess she'd have been a little bit happier if only she'd heard that. Though... Though what? N nothing much. Just a, a thought. I just wonder why before she told me what happened to everyone else, but didn't say a word about him. Here, got you a bolter, liver. I... <gasps> the hell are you doing? Get away from me with that stink. There's a barrel behind the barn. Go put it there. Hey, so you know, Jazir, who's this Sabbat? He was supposed to get you guys some medicine? Yes, yes, he was. He was bringing us fresh herbs every single week. But we haven't heard from him for too long now. I know he's probably dead, but we can't be sure. You don't know the man. He wanted to become one of the Faceless. He wouldn't let himself get killed easily. Well, any idea where I should look for him then? And what about those fevers? You still need some herbs, right? He lived in a hut out on that rocky island. And yes, he always kept medicine there. Just be careful. If something's got to sap it, it's no laughing matter. Tell me about this Sabbat guy. Before the outbreak, what was his job? He was a forest ranger. A proud and brave man. Always said he felt better in the company of animals than people. Yeah, I think I know the type. So he was a natural fit for the faceless? No. That idea came later. He wasn't a believer at first. It was only when he received the Mother's Blessing that he decided to help her achieve her goals however he could. And that's when he started bringing you medicine? Taking care of some of the needs of our community, yes. And he still lived in the hut? That's... It's quite a commute, especially on foot. And that's what was special about Sabbat. He just wasn't afraid. Not of monsters. Not of the dark, even. He wandered around in the night as if it were nothing special. Thin line between bravery and madness, huh? Oh, God, the smell. You do not know us, and yet you help us. For the glory of the mother or for personal gain? I'm... Look, I just want to help. Then we are allies now. But it's not enough. Hey, I don't understand. Just wait. Perhaps we owe you an apology, Kyle. You help us, and yet we still do not entirely trust your intentions. We understand it might be hard to expect someone to praise the mother without seeing the sign. I've got nothing to hide, okay? My intentions are pure. I'm here to help. Make your way to the lake known as the Eye of the Sun. Bow down before the mother, and you shall receive her blessing. We invite you to meet with us, Kyle.
hell did they do to you? I had been shown the end of my ways. They had opened my eyes to the truth, to the light. Holy shit. Talk about drinking the Kool-Aid. Mother, blessed by the sun, we praise you. Mother, embraced by the wind, we trust you. Mother, radiant with grace, come to us. Children of the sun, accept the mother's gift and stay true to her path. Suffering, the mother thanks you. Oh, what is this? So, so the biter that didn't attack me, I, I dreamed that? The biter was real, but don't try it again. You're not protected by Mother's aura anymore. However, your soul and blood have been cleaned. Your resistance to the virus will last as long as you stay on the right path. Put your faith in the Mother. Continue what you started, and your questions shall be answered. We will contact you. Lena? Come on, Lena! Kyle! Kyle! Lena, thank God. Listen, listen to me. I don't know how long it'll last, but I'm immune. I saw her, the, the mother. She spoke to me. I was... I was in like a, like a trance, and the, the zombies, they didn't attack me. Lena? Hello? Thank you, Sid. 
We didn't think we were going to make it. Oh, oh yeah, Rabbi. Yeah, Donia. We really don't have... We don't really have anything we could give you in return for your help. But I can promise you'll always find shelter here. Appreciate that, thanks. to go down. Zir, what's wrong? What's, what's going on? We don't have a clue. Everything seemed all right, and suddenly people started feeling sick. I hope you'd know something about it. Well, uh, I don't, but I'll see if I can figure out what's going on. Jazir, that was one cryptic message. I didn't want to get into details over the radio. One of the men from town just died from the water poisoning. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that. Yes, we all were. He was military, and he asked us to give away all of his possessions. The last thing we have left is this card. I don't know what its purpose is. Yeah, it's a military key card. I mean, if it's properly authorized, it could open any military electronic lock. Well then, here, you take it. Maybe it'll help you. Besides, we wouldn't even know what to look for. Yeah, thanks, Jazir. Okay, it's in the barrel. Thank you. And please, if you get more, just leave them in the barrel. That stink is just unbearable.
I've seen him with his wife up in the mountains. What the hell? What's going on? He's here! Get him! Oh my god. What's going on? Don't hurt me. I give up. I give up. Turn off that flashlight. All right. All right, Chief. You got it. But I've seen this uniform before. You're what's left of Rise's gang, huh? We're... I, I don't know. Exactly. They didn't tell me. I just joined. Quit lying, asshole. What are you fuckers doing out here? I don't know. I don't know! You understand, I'm a hair away from killing you, right? Okay. Okay. I'll talk. But all I know is, the boss had a plan. Poison the water supply, loot everybody. We brought some corpses, threw them in the water. Jesus, you sick bastards. Who's your boss? Where is he? I don't know. I told you, I just joined. I didn't want to do it. I swear. Yeah, just following orders. Let's find out what Jazeera has to say about that. See if he's in the mood to hear excuses. Come on, Chief. Don't do it. They'll fucking lynch me. I'm not gonna die. Not like that. Here I'm at the pumping station. Send some people here ASAP. And don't let anyone drink this water. What happened? Some bandits threw corpses into the water. Clean out the bodies and the water should clear up again. You got that? Of course. Thank you. We'll take care of it as soon as possible.
This sacred place. This will earn you the blessings of the mother.
Take this, please. You might need it. And be patient. The God of the Sun is soon to come. Great. for. Uh, so, the kid's package isn't here. Maybe it was already out for delivery. Now this looks like a clue.
Hey, Jazir. I got that kid's present. Can you get it to him? You risked your life to make a child happy. All I can say is, thank you. Ilum, that's you? Uh, here, brought you something from the post office. Are you kidding? That's great. Wow. For fuck's sake, you brought me my power bill. Well, don't get mad at me. I don't read other people's mail. I didn't know what it was. Ah, fuck it. It's not like I'm gonna pay it. Uh, excuse me, Sarah. I found something for you at the post office. Are you serious? I mean, thank you, but why did you bring this all the way here? I just thought it might be important. Wow. For a moment there, I felt like... like everything was normal again. Like this nightmare never happened. Thank you. Truly. Hey, no problem. Take care. Polar, I found a letter addressed to you in the post office. Holy shit, really? Thank you. Wonder what it's about. Um, I hate to ask, but I can't read. My wife always read this stuff for me, but now that she's gone, would you mind? Oh, yeah, no, no problem. Okay, let's see. You sure you want me to read this? I mean, it's a personal letter. Yes. Please. Okay, so. <clears throat> Polot, you damned son of a bitch. Don't you even think about dying out there. If I find out you were killed by a zombie, I'll fucking haunt you in the afterlife. Your ass is mine. Love, Talo. <laughs> oh, damn. I miss that man. Uh, pardon? Talo. That's my brother. I haven't seen him for months now. Wonder if he's still alive. Thank you so much for bringing me this. believe what you're doing is right. Soon you will become one of us.
Big guy wrecked this car. Been what they carried off. What the hell happened here? Are you there? A strange phenomenon doesn't even come close. What do you mean, brother? I mean, there was this huge ass demolisher just standing there in the field, didn't even notice me. And this weird mist, too, like what you guys had at the ceremony. Oh, well, that's an interesting development. Brother, I can't really tell you right now, but meet me at Jassir's farm. Soon, I believe you are ready. another way. I'm thinking. I'm thinking. Hey, who are you? That's the new guy from Jazir's. Nice crossbow. You boys hunting something? Yeah, a goddamn monster that's been stealing our food. I shot it, but it ran and hid in this cave. We would have finished it off, but you know what they say about wounded animals. I mean, it's not like we shot a rabbit, you know? Maybe you could go in after it. We're farmers, not soldiers. Hey, listen, please. Oh, Christ. Shit, o okay, I'm listening. There, in there, that's my child. Don't, don't let him die of hunger. Don't let him suffer.
Anybody want to buy anything? I'm closing soon. You only got a few minutes left. <sighs> Thank <laughs> you. 
Thanks, man. We'll make good use of this. So, made up your mind yet? Hey, Bilal, this note about the town. What's this danger the Faceless are warning people about? No idea, man. We don't go into the town anymore. People who went into Scavenge say there's demons in there. I know we've got zombies to deal with, but demons? What the hell? Seriously, no clue. I haven't been there in a while. Don't know what it's about or what they're trying to resolve. But it would help you guys out if the town got safer, right? Uh, well, yeah. We didn't have a chance to get anything out of there after the outbreak. But just so you know, the military ran everybody out of there before any infected even showed up. And you think it might have been related to this demons thing? Could be, man. Could be. We won't know until the Faceless get it all under control, though. Hey, Bilal. I saw a note about some kind of poisonous oil. What's the deal with it? Yeah, man. Shit works like a charm. So, can you make me a batch? Well, yeah, but I'm out of Wolfsbane, so you'd have to go get me some. And it probably only grows in a clearing somewhere on the other side of the world. With a couple of demolishers and some toads camped out around it. Ah, you know what? Fuck it. You're cool. And I have shit to do. So, I'll just give you the recipe. Sound good?
find it somewhere near here. Yeah, I watched it go down. It's worth checking for survivors. It could be someone from outside the quarantine. <laughs>
found one of the faceless here. He's dead. Could you tell them for me? Uh, you went there? Are you crazy? But they specifically said not to. Look, it was sort of a don't push this button situation. Hey, man. When they say don't, you don't. Well, that ship has sailed. Crane here. Just found a cadaver. Pretty sure it's one of yours. Someone will attend to it. You have our thanks. That situation in town, they weren't demons. They were screamers. The screamers? Very, very, very unlucky infected children. Oh, that's what you call them in Haran. We've seen them before. The people here can't really uh, figure out how they feel about them. But you know they're not human anymore, right? Hey, it's a pretty big leap from knowing something to accepting it. Can you imagine somebody like Jazir taking out his knife and killing a kid? Even if it's a zombie.
So, made up your mind yet? Races. Well, uh, what's the deal with this racing stuff? I've seen some weird posters. Oh, man. Uh, I miss a good engine's roar more than running water these days. I was a champion once, you know? Five times, back to back. But hey, you just gave me a brilliant idea. Listen, I'm going fucking insane in this place. Everyone's depressed all the damn time. Let's have fun for once, huh? What do you mean? Let's set some engines on fire, man. I have it all figured out. You'll be the next champion. Well, guess a little distraction would be welcome. Right. So, remember to fuel and repair your ride, and then just drive to the beach outside town. And give me a sign when you're near the pizza place, okay?
hand? How was it? I could get used to that. Is there any other tracks I could try out? Hell yeah, man. Just look at those posters. They're at the starting points of different races we had here. I won all of them. So when you find one, give me a shout. And I'll work the stopwatch. We'll make a champion out of you in no time. And for beating me, I'll give you a ride a new paint shop. You gotta admit, she could use one. It's good to see you again, brother. This time, though, I fear I carry some bad news for you. Yeah, well, I'm used to that by now. What's going on here? Kyle, you already knew, didn't you? People not getting infected, that it's just smoke and mirrors. It is the smoke, literally. Our mother found a way to fight the sickness using a certain, let's call it an elixir. You have seen it working with your own eyes. So you do have a cure? Would you call a bandage on an open wound a cure? No! What we have right now is just a temporary solution. We are working on a certain curative project, one with more permanence. But we need time, and we need peace to last for just a bit longer. Now let me guess, you're running out of this elixir. Unfortunately, yes. That's why I asked you to come here. I want to offer you a deal. Find us more of it, and a fair portion will be yours. The mother will teach you how to use it. You'll be able to return to Haran with your prize, or perhaps you'll choose to stay with us. It seems like you've got an idea of where to look for this stuff. A lot of our brothers were out searching for it, and recently we lost contact with three of them. They were supposed to check a certain cave. You're seeing the mist cannot be a coincidence. It must have been spillage. Seems that someone found the elixir and ran away with it. All right, so check out the cave. Got it. Farewell, brother. I hope the news you bring back is good.
nice and good while this damn thing works. I know what's going on. They have something a hundred times better than Antizen. The good news, they'll share it with me. The bad news, I need to find it. Now, I know the clock's ticking, but I can't let go of this yet. It's the best chance for all of us. I understand, Kyle, but please, please hurry. Run out of Antizen. More reason for me to get this done. Keep your fingers crossed. That's one of them. Okay, second one's dead too, no surprise there. Holy fuck, Rises men? you mentioned, and I found two of your brothers dead. I also heard a distress call. It mentioned some goods that aren't here. So they were stolen. All right. Please keep investigating. We'll try to gather some information about the third brother. Listen, be on the lookout for orange uniforms, or, or a symbol, three horizontal stripes. Excuse me? The bandits in here. These are Rises thugs. They're worse than the undead. What happened in Haran? That's mostly their fault. Oh, I see. Thank you, Kyle. I'm sure that information will prove useful. You're the type of student who will overtake the master, Kyle. There are not many, even among us, who would sacrifice as much 
as you have. We thank you. May the mother bless you. And let me reward you for what you did. Necessary, right? Yes, please. A mother would very much like this man to finish what he started. Okay, who is it? His name is Attila. He's an ethnographer working in the mother's mansion. It's that big residence at the top of the cliff. For what you're doing, brother, the mother will bless you. You've risked your life for the sake of the people, and you've earned the right to call yourself baseless. Now, wait for a sign.
Anybody home? Have you come to kill me? Fine. Go ahead. Have you come to kill me? Fine. Go ahead. My name's Kyle Crane. The mother's worried about you, Attila. She sent me to check on you. Make sure you're okay. I am most certainly not okay. You can tell her that there will be no book. I've hit a wall. I'm just a dying old man, not Indiana Jones. Dying? Did you... Did you ask the mother for help? She doesn't have the cure for cancer, I'm afraid. My days of field work are over. The problem is, and I'll quote Hamlet here, everything is fucked up. Come, sit. Have a drink with me, Mr. Crane. Listen, if it's the field work that's stopping you, just... I can go out and get whatever you need. I don't know what you're researching, but the mother really wants it finished. Hmm. You'll bring me anything I need, you say? Yeah, sure. Just make a list. It would certainly help if my electricity were restored. If I'm going to do this, I'll be looking at some very long nights. Well, I can take care of the power, but you're on your own for coffee.
Crane here. Just found a cadaver. Pretty sure it's one of yours. Damn. Losing people one by one. Thanks for telling us. Get your electricity back, Attila, and now what? Now we can get to work, Mr. Crane. I'm researching traces of the prophecy about the god of the sun in the relics of local culture. It seems like a matter of life and death to the mother, and I'm in no position to ask why. So, now we have three ancient monoliths to investigate. We're looking for specific features, so you'll need to see them in person and describe each one to me. Now that I have the power back on, we can stay in touch while you're out there. But please hurry, Mr. Crane. I won't live forever.
was supposed to be here had either evaporated or something in the water. Until I got a monolith. And? It's underwater, but I could see the remains of a painting. There was, like, a head, I think. Could it have been a mask? Yeah, maybe. Good work, Mr. Crane. I see a monolith, Attila. Describe it, please. There's a painting, looks old. It's got ants moving toward a circle, and one inside the circle has a red head. No, 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 Mr. Crane. Those are not ants. They're meant to represent believers praying to the sun. Whatever. You say so. The 
one on the inside is wearing a special ritual mask, if I guess correctly. All right, that is helpful. Please move on. Attila, I found one of those monoliths. What do you see? A big-ass stone, that's what. And also an old painting. It's, it's a sun on top of a mountain, a mountain crossed with a zigzag. Anything else? Yeah, someone added a Mirhart's Jasmine on the side. Does that help? All right, Mr. Crane, let's move on. All right, Attila, that's all of them. Now what? You'll have to start climbing, I'm afraid. Head to the highest mountain you can find to a place known as the Temple of the Sun. a whole lot of climbing. I did warn you.
choose the climb, Mr. Crane? Not now, Attila. One wrong move and I'm a dead man. But do you see anything? Later, man. Seriously. <sighs> Okay, I'm at the top. It's an awesome view. Let's get to work then, Mr. Crane. There's a painting of a bloody blade on one of the monoliths. Anything else? A mask, perhaps? No, should, should I be looking for a mask? With the utmost diligence, Mr. Crane. This is very important. Attila, I found this hole with, I don't know, I guess there are offerings inside it. And there's a mask in here, too. Is it red? If it's red, take it with you. Be careful with it. Yeah, it's red. Should I take anything else? There's a lot of stuff in here. No, no, that should be enough. I think you can come back now, Mr. Crane.
Anyone want to trade? In a couple of minutes, I'll be packing my toys and heading out, and you won't find me after that. Move, people, move! <laughs> It's your mask, Attila. I don't know if it's gonna help with anything. Listen, the Mother's obsessed with this prophecy. When the world is ravaged by plague, when darkness devours the Earth, when men are as beasts to one another, when humanity shall be struck by corruption of both flesh and soul, then shall be revealed one man who, through an act of ultimate sacrifice, shall accept the mercy of the Light. And the God of the Sun shall be revealed through him, and through him will he speak. And his voice shall be the light and the healing. And he shall pass through the gates of death, so that he may bring new life. On every remaining painting, the God of the Sun, or a priest attempting to summon him, wears a mask like that one. So, yes, Mr. Crane, I believe you've helped me plenty. You need anything else? Only time and peace. I have to write everything down. I'll let the Acolytes know that you've helped me. Thank you, Mr. Crane. I'll call you the moment I'm done. Well, see you tomorrow, then. You promise? All right. I'll be waiting for you.
heard something. Thank you, God! Oh. Reach out to you guys? He said he was going to. Then he is all right. I, I helped him with his research. He told me that he has to write everything down now. Said he needs time. Go and find out, please, why he hasn't reached out to us yet. We must be certain that he will finish the task. All right. What I have done, however it will turn out in the end, will give the mother a better answer to what she's looking for than any research I could have been losing time working on. You see, as a famous ethnographer, I came to Haran on the invitation of the local colonel's wife. The colonel, the mother. These were words spoken around here with utmost respect. Yet for me, after a while, they became just Amir and Jasmine. A happy marriage, if there ever was one. And it was at his request that I stayed behind when all hell broke loose. I was here when he came back to evacuate her. I watched as he got bitten, and when he asked me to stay, I did as he asked. I thought he'd want me to end his suffering. But that wasn't the case. He gave me something that I was supposed to pass to her, only if her state of mind after this tragedy didn't raise my concern. But I never saw her again. I felt rejected. I felt abandoned, but now that I'm about to die, I can't keep the promise. She still won't agree to see me. But you, you're different, Kyle. You have a chance to meet her. There is no other option for me. I have to leave what the Colonel gave me in your hands, Kyle. I know that when the time comes, you will make the right decision. Remember this code, please. 2519-8603. I apologize for any wrongs I have done, and I beg for your forgiveness. Attila H. Attila, 
Attila, what the fuck have you done? Hey, it's Kyle Crane. I'm at Attila's house. What's Attila's condition, Crane? Speak. He slit his own throat. He put the mask on and killed himself. Mask? What mask? An old red mask I found at the Temple of the Sun. <sighs> that old fool used you, Crane. What? what? How? To find this mask. We know all about it. That wasn't his task, Crane. Attila was deadly sick. There was a cancer eating his brain. He must have become convinced that if he put this mask on and slit his throat, the God of the Sun would manifest and possess his body. But why? Why, why would he get that in his head? And he shall pass through the gates of death, so that he may bring new life. Attila interpreted that to mean suicide, an error that cost him his life. Take the mask, and try to find the book Attila was writing for us. Take them to Jasir, and we'll take care of the rest.
Vizier, please don't ask any questions. Just hand this stuff to the Acolytes when you have a chance. Okay, it's very imp important to the Mother, I know. They told me already. I'll tell them I have it.
I'll try to help you. No. Just, just listen. They're following us. One did the cure. Didn't know how to open. So, asked about mother. I told them nothing. Don't talk. Save your energy. I'll get you out of here. Light house. Light. House. Orkin, stay with me. Damn it. Aunt Crane. The bandits were in the granary. So was Orkin. They captured and tortured him. May the God of the Sun accept his soul. Did he tell them anything? I don't know. He said he didn't. He did try to tell me something about the cure. I guess they didn't know how to open it. So some of it remains, even though they spilled a lot at that field. Do you have any idea where they could have gone? Orkin said something about the lighthouse. I'll take a look. Thank you, brother. If you find those vials, give us a sign immediately. You'll take it straight to the mother.
Lena, I copy. Go ahead. Kyle, can you hear me? Shit. Lena? Kyle, please, if you can hear me, you have to hurry. We're going to lose another floor. Lena! God damn it. Fuck, I'm so close. You're working with Rises Bandits? Where is it, you son of a bitch? Where the hell is the cure? What? You're crazy! Don't fuck with me, Khan! Where is it? Look, I just live here, all right? I don't know shit about working with bandits. Boss, you there? Hello, can you hear me? Um, who's speaking? Chief, there you are. Okay, listen. Hakan and his group are going after the mob, but some wise ass took out the granary, and we need to hunt him down. We're waiting by your crib. You coming? <laughs> no need, pal. Just keep your eye on the balcony. Wait, wait. <clears throat> what the hell? Boss! Wait, listen. I know, I know. I went way overboard, but they forced me. They made me do it. It's Crane! Crane's where? Hawkins Group. Where are they heading? Tell me. To the dam. The priest said the entrance was in the dam. Please. <laughs> I'm fucking done with you. Crane, do you copy? The vials are gone. I saved only the last few of them, and Rise's men are coming to you. Do you hear me? Crane, come here fast. Come quickly. Hello. Shit. I better hurry.
Holy shit. Holy fucking shit. Hey, anybody there? Brother? More fighting. More death. I can't let this happen again. I won't. To you. Where are the faceless? What, what's happening to me? Why, why, why do I hear your voice inside my head? Children of the sun, Kyle. They were nothing before the outbreak. Just a half-forgotten tradition. An old world faith long dead. I'm tired. I've held this title for so long now. The Mother. It was meaningless. Until it became all too real. I thought their respect came simply because I was a colonel's wife. We had a good, cozy life. After the outbreak, my husband came to get me out. We didn't stand a chance against the horde. We were bitten. He bled to death in my arms. He gave me his cigarette case and asked me to run. He didn't want to hurt me. I was dragged away by the relievers. They came for their mother. It took me a while to remember that my husband didn't smoke. I looked inside. There was a map, a key, and a note with numbers. It led us here. The healthy ones tried to get the power back on. The rest of us went to look for medicine. Others looked to me. They could have held medicine. They could have held poison. I felt a seizure coming. I was about to turn, and I realized, why else would my husband lead me here? I loved him. I trusted him. I remember a taste. Acrid, bitter as blood. It might have been blood. by the remains of the people who had trusted me. It was because of the light. Someone finally turned the power back on, and the light brought me back. You see, <laughs> meeting the fumes is one thing, but drinking the liquid is something else entirely. In the light, in the sun, my mind is my own. I'm filled with love you can't possibly imagine. But in the dark, my new nature dominates. Mindless, lethal. In the dark, with cruel passion, I ripped my own children to pieces. But I swore to myself that I would become the mother they really deserve. And now, you have come, Kyle. And every sign tells me you're the one I've been waiting for. It's in the prophecy, Kyle. Then shall be revealed one man who through an act of ultimate sacrifice shall accept the mercy of the no. light. And the God of the Sun shall be revealed through him. And through him will he speak. I just need that medicine to save my friends. Look at my face. There is no medicine. You want mankind to become what I am? Listen to my voice. Beautiful evolution indeed. 
minds and souls connected in a telepathic bond. How horrible. <laughs> Look at me. And when the darkness comes, what then? More death, more killing. You can hide from others, but who will hide them from you? But we don't we don't have to drink it with just the mist. It doesn't matter. Just listen. We've been breathing the mist. It will take longer, but you're already changing into a monster such as myself. No, wait. Listen! The army built a failsafe into their experiment. This entire region can be purified. The question is, are you ready to sacrifice thousands of lives, Kyle? Yours among them? Are you crazy? I won't play your god of the sun. I want no part in this bullshit. Just let me take the vials and go. Maybe you'll understand when you see it with my eyes. How narcissistic. You, the god of the sun himself. I'll show you who you are. No, 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 god damn it. You fucking monster. I my love for humanity fills me. A love which you defy. And you know that a love rejected turns to anger. An anger you will bear, Kyle Crane. I will make you pay for all those <laughs>
you, bitch. And save my friends, and you can rot in hell. Fucking killed you! This is a poison. It's not a poison! It's a cure. <laughs> Lena? Lena, I'm coming back with the medicine. We'll be able to we'll be able to help everyone. Tell Camden that that he has all the time. He has all the time in the world now. No. No, tell him. Tell him we, we have a new lead. We have a better one. So what, that's it? Just, just game over. Fuck. Fuck. All right. So what, what do I do? Wake up the god of the sun. Follow me, Kai. Wait, so the, the, the coming of your god means what, we all die? And, and the plague, it, it dies with us? If it kills the plague, I mean, I guess it's worth it. This place doesn't look much like the gates of death to me, though. Flowery language, isn't it? I was searching for truth, Kyle. For truth in our traditions. But Attila's death shattered my hopes. It was proof. What, that there are no miracles? What's a miracle anyway, Kyle? Becoming a sentient volatile? I'm nothing more than a monster. Becoming a hero during the apocalypse. You're just the right man in the right place. So this, this is the fail-safe. What do you need me for? The key I got from my husband worked. But the cult he gave me didn't. I know that's the only way. I just don't know how. Codes? No, your husband, he, he had a failsafe too. He, he left the codes with Attila, so he could decide if he'd stay sane long enough to make a decision. Wait, you have the codes? Attila thought you'd be a better judge. I hope you'll judge me well. Let this madness end, Kyle. Please. Accepted. Preparation of nuclear warheads in progress. T 